we doing? How are we betting this Washington Commander football team Redskins? I guess over six and a half wins, mm. but mm. Uh, I don't even know if I'm uh, honestly. I don't even know if I'm firing on it because it, to me it's like right on the number. I hate when people say that, but it, it to me it's uh, it it really is going to come down to the that last stretch there. But uh, Mac, you like the over six and a half wins? What else? Uh, what else are you firing on for this Commanders team? Uh, I think you sprinkle the division odds because how many mm. times do we see it in this chaos division where there's a couple injuries, whether it's at the quarterback position, 2012, 2016, 2020, every four years, the skins pop up and win this division <laughs> 2024. I'll sprinkle a little bit. I'm seeing 11 to one, uh, but yeah, I definitely like the over six and a half in uh year one of Dan Quinn. I think they play hard. They got a bunch of vets on the defense and, uh, I could see them being that four seed, uh, uh, playing the five seed in the first round and, and getting absolutely whacked. But I, uh, I'm actually a little more bullish on this team coming into uh, next year. So winning the division, at maybe at yep. eight and nine. I like this. <laughs> but yeah. no, the, the NFC, how great would that be? The NFC if, East, if we another know. banner under five hundred winning oh, yeah. a division. That what would we be, do? Eight and nine division winner. That, that would be a funny streak to continue, and maybe tied something to an election year. Then went oh, in the division. Oh boy. We'll have to yep. go. We'll have to dig deep, the trend and, builder, and find the truth. Uh, any sort of any sort of props stuff you find interesting in the market. Uh, Jaden Daniels to lead the league in interceptions. I don't think I'm firing on that. But no, like what about like? Are you looking at the rookie of the year market or any, anything uh, yeah. for Jaden Daniels? I mean, if you do like him to make the playoffs, it certainly would make a compelling case for um, offensive rookie of the year. Plus five fifty right now. Yeah, mm -hmm. I don't know. Maybe you. Hmm, that's tough. I, I don't know. Yeah, where are you at with uh, rookie of the year stuff or any of these other uh, futures bets? Well, if if they are going to win eight eight games, maybe nine games, and be in that playoff discussion, I think. He's going to be right there to win the rookie of the year. I'm seeing him right now at seven to one at one book. So Ooh. I definitely think with Cliff Kingsbury as the offensive coordinator. And like I said, for whatever reason, the rookie year for the second pick has been good to the skins. RG3 and <laughs> Chase Young. It's years two and on after that has been the shit show. So <laughs> I will uh I'll take I'll take uh Jaden Daniels to win rookie of the year uh seven to one. He's Baron Caleb Williams, J Mark. <laughs> uh, what I what I would look for too is I I've not found but they I know last year they offered quarterback like most rushing yards for quarterbacks. Okay. Uh, to me that would be like I don't <laughs> I don't think he he's going to stay healthy but if he does he's very much going to I think be at least be very much in the mix to lead that that category. Uh would you would you Sean would you dabble in a lead the league in rushing yards? Um, I don't know. I I was I was gonna see. Can you find a price on him to lead the league in rushing touchdowns? We saw that with uh, last year with Allen and uh, Josh Allen and, and Jalen Hurts were right up there. I think the the rushing touchdowns to me um, is kind of more intriguing. Yards. He's, they're they're being they're ca cowardly. They're not listing the quarterbacks. Unfortunately, you guys like over five fifty and a half for rushing it yards. If he's I mean, healthy, think, he's getting that. I, yeah, I think it's one of those numbers where you're. It, it, it's it, there's so much of this is injury based because there's no way he doesn't get there. Like I think mm -hmm. he's in the like a thousand rushing yards is is reasonable if he stays healthy to to <laughs> to think about. And so the number is just thinking he's going to miss games. I have to imagine. I, I just. Sean, yeah. Sean nailed it early on. He it it's he's just going to play football early on. Like so much of the air raid is quick. But what do you think is going to happen when that shit's not there? Because it won't be there. So, but th that is my underdog play, Jaden Daniels. Higher, oh. five twenty-five and a half rushing yards. Because I think he can get that. I think he can get that somewhat early. Like I, I wouldn't be surprised if he got that in like nine, eight, nine games. Um, and then I do think it does seem like a very low number. Jaden Daniels most rushing touchdowns. I don't see it priced anywhere. No. It's I'm gonna give myself a 150 to one because that's where they're cutting it off. But I mean, you know, look at the market. Jalen Hurts is 15 to one. Josh Allen 15 to one. Should Jaden Daniels be 10 times that? I think that's a bit crazy, especially no, in the Kingsbury offense. They're where just, do you think they're, they're just being cowards? Okay. Uh, he'll be priced like 25 to one. I really? Uh, 30 okay. to one, 40, under 50 to one. 
All right. So we'll I'll I'll put Jaden Daniels most rushing touchdowns something to come back to cuz I if I can find that and it's like 50 to 1 or higher, I think that's something good to fire on. I do his rushing yards to me is the is the most consistent thing. Yeah. I mean, we keep talking maybe a little bit at both sides of our mouth, but I think 525 and a half is low enough that even if he does get hurt or falls off late, you still got a good chance of cashing that. So I'll take the higher on the 525 rushing yards. It does over seem on underdog fantasy. Seems so hard. Like how does he not get there if he plays 14 games? Yeah, even? well that's what I'm saying. Like I don't I think you could get it in 10 games. That would be what? A 53 yard average. I think that's very realistic. So yeah. I I do like the higher um rushing yards for Daniels. Kramer, uh what do you what do you got underdog? What do you got futures for this Commanders team? Uh, well, I'll start underdog because I'll ask you a trivia question. Yes. When's the last time Austin Eckler is receiving yards is three ninety nine and a half? When's the last time Austin Eckler didn't go higher than three ninety nine and a half receiving yards in a season? I think he's done it every year. His rookie year. Oh, okay. What? Where? Where? Even last year <laughs> yeah. when it was like, oh, he's washed up. He's dust. He's gonna have a ton of catches. Three ninety nine and a half is almost in the same way for Jaden Daniels. It just seems like not the right number. So well, so I think what's happening is they're trying to price in some injury risk yeah, with Austin Eckler and Jaden Daniels, and it's just pulling it way down. Where, yeah, yeah may, maybe they get injured, but I mean Austin Eckler, to your point, Ryan, could get injured, miss six games, and still still get this in eleven games, right? Like yeah. so, if he averages five catches a game, and get plays ten games, he's getting over this number, or he's getting higher than yeah. To your point, last year, like it was a disaster year for him. He only <laughs> played fourteen games. He still had four hundred thirty six receiving yards. So <laughs> I I and I think he might even get more volume. He wasn't competing with some of the receivers uh, yeah. that the you know that the Chargers had. So. And shout out to the to underdog for listing Curtis Samuel <laughs> as a member of the Commanders. Oh yeah, come on, he's on the Bills. What are you doing? They update your update I, your stuff, underdog. You guys are too busy signing Bill Belichick. <laughs> what uh, Kramer? What else? Uh, any other futures plays for the Commanders? Uh, n- not much. Um, well, because they're it's you know like I'm I, with you. I want to play. Like I think I, their floor is like okay. I don't think they're in the mix for. Last win list because you look at some of those spreads early on, they should be in a couple of those games. I don't think they're in the mix for fewest wins because I think Daniels keeps them around. Um, but yeah, I would just kind of lean into the Daniels rushing stuff. Maybe a most rushing yards for a quarterback. That's probably he's probably going to be the favorite there, but I still like that. Last win list team popped on my radar just because I I think they can. I think anytime you have a rookie quarterback and you're going against a number of attacking defenses, that could be a problem. But I I ended up you know, like I I Dan Quinn's earlier success actually is what got me off some of these because I I do think defense guy if it works he you know the idea that they're gonna steal a weird game that Jaden Daniels does something crazy in uh, makes sense to me here's what I'll say I'm with you on the rushing touchdowns rushing yards I found no markets but I'm looking to bet. The rookies, like I want to bet on him to lead the rookies in those things. I want to bet, like not just rookie quarterbacks. I want to bet him to lead rookies in rushing yards, rushing yeah. touchdowns. I want to bet him to lead the league in rushing yards and rushing touchdowns. To me, that's the seal. That's the way you play the ceiling case for the Commanders. Uh, I strangely don't think Dan. I don't think Dan Quinn really has a chance to get Coach of the Year. Maybe he does. Maybe I'm missing on that. But yeah, so if I was going to play that the season turns out well, I think a lot of that is Jaden Daniels and his legs. So, but well, I can't, these markets aren't out there for whatever reason. I don't and know. And last quite or you know, last market I think we have to discuss. Uh Mac, you're high on the Commanders or at least, you know, a little relative. You're, oh, you're pause. Yeah. Sorry. Jaden Daniels to lead the NFC East in rushing is available. What is that? 20 to 1. Okay. That's a fun uh Yeah, I could take that. I like that because I mean, who who's Philly? You got you got Hertz and you got Barkley. Barkley. Maybe you can do each Bar- other. So it's goal. Barkley minus one thirty, Singletary plus one ninety, Zeke plus one thousand. Yeah, Eckler plus twelve hundred, Brian Robinson two plus two thousand, and Jaden Daniels plus. I mean, 2, all you have to do really, in my mind, is probably beat out Saquon 
Well, Saquon and Hurts, because I think Zeke, I don't think he's gonna get there. And <laughs> yeah, and if you beat out the other guys on your team, twenty to one, I think is a pretty good price. I think you're gonna have to beat out. Yeah, you're gonna have to beat out Brian Robinson probably. Yeah, like that to me is the guy on your own team you're working against. And I, you know what? They put this. This is the one. And I think if as we find the other markets, because so this actually makes me think he'll be a longer shot than I said earlier, Sean. Okay, so I'll just leave on Jaden Daniels' most rushing touchdowns. I'll come back to it, but we do both like Daniels' uh, NFC East most rushing yards, twenty to one. That's a fun long shot. Yeah. Uh, Mac, do you have a, anything on underdog? The underdog season long stuff jumping out at you here. We got Jahan Dotson, Brian Robinson, Eckler. You got some numbers up here for uh, Curtis Jane Samuel. Daniels, Curtis Samuel. <laughs> yeah. We will allow well, you to play Curtis Samuel. <laughs> so, so I've kind of talked about it, like the theme for why I think they're going to be around that seven, eight, nine win mark. Is they got a bunch of vets that are got a chip on their shoulder. John Allen, Deron Payne, guy we haven't even mentioned that's been pretty damn good. And consistent despite no quarterback play over the years has been Terry McLaurin. Yeah. I see him right now at higher than 69 and a half receptions. You look at okay. the last four years, 79, 77, 77, 87. He's at a, he's an iron man where he plays basically every game. He's he's durable. The only year he did not get it was his rookie year. Um, when they were a complete mess, uh, two and 14 teams. So I like him higher than uh 69 and a half receptions. I think he's a guy that's kind of been forgotten a little bit, um, which is how bad they've been and inconsistent. I think he's got a chip on his shoulder this year. Last, uh, last thing, uh, last bet I want to get Max take on is Dan Quinn coach of the year. I'm seeing uh DK has it at 18 to one shop around, but if you think they're going to go from a four win team to an eight win team to maybe a nine win team, if you, if you think they win the division at 11 to one, he certainly would have a very good case for coach of the year. Are you also sprinkling uh Dan Quinn coach of the year back? May I probably not just because okay. I don't think, I think they would have to go like 11 and six because if they backdoor like they have in, in previous years with the division winner at eight and nine, Everybody will just say, "Oh, Hertz or Prescott <laughs> got injured, and that's why they yeah. won the division." Like that's the, he's that's not the path. Get the credit. That I, yeah, that's the path I laid out. Is I don't th I think their ceiling's like uh, nine wins. I can't see them going double digits this year. So I kind of just think that you take the division eleven to one, and you can win it at eight to nine, and that's your better eleven to <laughs> one than Dan Quinn, coach of the year. I, 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 I feel like the same way. I I do, I do think Dan Quinn has to overcome like. It, even if he does the things he's supposed to do, he's going to have to overcome someone else that's more likable. Yeah. Well, I think yeah, the fact that we've already next year, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, and he's you know hasn't coached in a while, but he's not a new coach, so it's not as fun to write the Dan Quinn is yeah. back. Story. And he choked the Super Bowl away. So I mean, people don't forget that. All right, Sean. Breaking yeah. news, please. Yes. Breaking news. All right, you're gonna have to, all right, update the betting sheet. I found a uh, an outlet. Okay. Jaden Daniels most rushing yards is 130 to one. Jaden Daniels most rushing touchdowns is 65 to one. Okay. All right. I mean, put me down for those. both of those. Cause again, if, 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 if he is healthy, I, I don't see why we aren't looking at like a Michael Vick type, you know, it's like the Anthony Richardson thing. If he stays healthy, he scores <laughs> yeah. like 22 touchdowns. It's un unreal, but he only played four games and he only finished one of them. All right, so we're in on the Jaden Daniels rushing stuff. Let's uh, recap some of the best bets. I got him going seven and ten. That feels like a very Commanders y uh, record. Uh, Kramer has him Could six and division. eleven. <laughs> Could win the division. Uh, Mac has him eight and nine. He likes the over. He likes the division. He likes Daniels rookie of the year. Terry McLaurin over sixty nine and a half catches. I'm on all Jaden Daniels stuff. Uh, most rushing touchdowns, rushing yards, higher five twenty five and a half season long. Uh, Kramer likes the Eckler three three ninety nine and a half receiving yards higher. Uh, lead the NFC East uh, most rushing yards, most rushing touchdowns. So, and, and I would say I'm, I think I'm, that's a fun way to you know not be in on the Commanders, but if they do hit their ceiling, it's because he's amazing running. 